Our top story this lunchtime, thousands of doctors in South Korea are set to return to work with the ruling Democratic Party and the Korean Medical Association finally reaching an agreement over medical reform plans. This comes after weeks of strikes by trainee doctors in the country. Lee kyung -un starts us off. The South Korean government's medical reform plans will be temporarily put on hold, and thousands of doctors are set to return to work. Those plans, the core of which were increasing medical school admission quotas and building public medical schools, have prompted thousands of doctors to stage a walkout since August 21st. Putting an end to the two-week-long protest, the ruling Democratic Party's policy committee chief, Han jung -ye, and the head of the Korean Medical Association, Choi dae met on Friday morning and agreed on three major points. First up, the party promised to put on hold its push for the medical reform plans and resume discussions once the COVID-19 situation stabilizes in the country. A joint organization will also be in charge of the process. Also, the party agreed to enhance the competitiveness and quality of public health and medical institutions. Lastly, the party will help improve the working conditions of trainee doctors based on a specific request from the Korean Intern Resident Association. The agreement does not say that the party will scrap the plan entirely, but it practically implies that the negotiations will restart on a clean slate later. The head of the KMA made similar remarks. Also at the signing event was the ruling Democratic Party's new leader, Lee na -gyeon. He said the agreement could ease concerns over the medical licensing exam, which has been delayed due to mass cancellations by protesting medical students. The KMA is set to sign a separate pact with the government, after which they would officially announce their return to work. Lee Kyung-un, Arirang News.